He's not here right now. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing my very first review on the Funko Collector Core monthly subscription boxes. This one is for the month of November, and you can see right here that it is themed Collector Core Villains. All right, on the side you get Marvel Collector Core written right over there, and you got some stuff, and packaging stuff, and then mail. All right, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. So lifting this up, I like how you can see a bunch of images from comics inside here. I think that's really cool. Wow, that's pretty sweet. Get Venom right over there. Get some Loki. And looking right up top right here, we get a patch of the red skull. It says Collector Core. Looking pretty nice. I like that. Ooh, we get a Green Goblin pin. That's pretty cool. I'm digging that. Then we can pull this down right over here. Ooh, we get a t-shirt. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. And Invincible Iron Man number one variant. I actually have the regular version of this comic, but this is a pretty cool variant. And I like how this is actually bagged and boarded. So this is a sealed bag over here. Uh, I don't know if I want to keep this or not. I don't know. I might try to trade it with somebody or something. We'll see. But I do like this cover. It is pretty neat looking. Nice art right there of Iron Man with his new armor, and he's fighting a bunch of zombie villains. And as far as the rest of the goodies in here, we get an exclusive Morbius Funko Pop right on. Okay, we get a little bobblehead right there. And then we get a mini keychain bobblehead. Is it an actual bobblehead or it's just a keychain actually? But Venom, definitely gonna put that on my keychain. I like that. Pretty sweet. And then we get Loki right here. It's a Collector Core exclusive. What are these dorbs? I think I've gotten a dorb before. Yeah. So yeah, let's open all these things up. Up. So looking at the front of this shirt, it has all your favorite Marvel villains, of course, starring Venom right up there at the top. We get Ultron, or Project Ultron, Explosive Pumpkin with the Green Goblin over there. Of course, there's Loki. We get Thanos, and then Infinity Gauntlet, and then we have the Red Skull. How's it going? Uh, I just wanted to show you how this shirt looks with it on. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. You know, it's just a little on the baggy side, though. I ordered a size large. I typically wear either size large shirts or medium sized shirts. This one feels a little bit more like an XL to me. So, you know, I do wear smaller shirts than large sometimes, but this one does feel a bit big. Boing! And then here's our exclusive Morbius bobblehead that we get with this Collector Core box. Pretty cool, you know, straight up. Very white, pale Morbius as he should be. He's got his little ears poking out right there. And I really like the matte finish that we get on the black hair. So, you know, it's very empty vinyl pop too, so it's pretty light. And it bobbles very well. Come on, you're a, you're a hungry Morbius. I will stalk your blood. A plasma. Remember the plasma thing in the cartoon? That was so silly. And then to show Morbius is the same size as a regular Funko Pop bobblehead. Here he is next to Ant-Man. Dorbs! And then here's the MCU Loki Dorbs figurine. And you can rotate the head on this side to side. I think the paint came out really clean on this. Nice shiny gold paint right there for his helmet. And right there, nice deco on the body and everything. Get a closer look at this. Yeah, it's a cute little Loki, you know? Not too bad. I have a friend that really loves MCU Loki, so I'm gonna give this to her. Nice cape right over here. Nice glossy paint for that. Looks alright. For the size of this, it has a pretty decent amount of weight, too. You can hear it. And to get a better look at this pin, it's a very nice pin. I really like it, you know. It's definitely a hefty little pin here, so I'm digging this. Then here's a little Venom keychain. It stands at about an inch and a half tall, which is cool, you know. I think the head is going to stay on here really well. That's the one thing I'm concerned about, attaching this to my keychain. You can see on the back, you get the spider logo on the back. Looks really good. I really like that they use the gross venom with the tongue coming out. Nice sculpt right there for the eye sockets and the teeth look really good too. I'm not gonna lie, this is my favorite part about this box right here. I just really like this little venom keychain. So I think you get a pretty good amount of stuff right here for the value of it. It's a $25 a month thing with this subscription box and you get what, a t-shirt? What, that's gonna cost you at least 15 bucks, right? Licensed product like Marvel and then you get your Funko Pop, those cost 10 bucks. So there's your 25 bucks right there. So you get the dorbs and then you get this keychain and the patch and the pin for free. That's one way to look at it. So it really all depends on how much you like the Funko Pops and you like the t-shirts. Anyway, I hope you guys like my review. If you want to see more of these reviews coming up once a month, please let me know in the comments below. If you like the video enough to check out another video of mine, check any of these boxes right over here if you want more shart in your face. If you're age 18 or older, please check out the Patreon account. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go to MarvelousNews.com for the latest in Marvel-related news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Every day.